Crystal, thanks. Well, meanwhile, the homeless population in Yuma has been acutely affected by the virus, including the services available to them. News 11's Adonis Albright spoke with the Crossroads Mission to learn more. I'm here at the Crossroads Mission, the only homeless shelter in Yuma. The organization tells me the pandemic has severely limited the services they offer. The Crossroads Mission has been serving the homeless community for many years, but 2020 has been a long haul, with the coronavirus pandemic putting a major dent in their outreach programs. Due to the COVID and how we can bring people in and uh, offer them services, we've lost about 70%. The Yuma Coalition to End Homelessness conducts a snapshot of how many people are homeless each year. In January, there were 115 willing to be interviewed in Yuma County, but many more went uncounted. But now with the coronavirus pandemic, the coalition tells me it's still unclear if that count will move forward. This week, Arizona released its annual count to the homeless population. As it stands, the state ranks 14th compared to the rest of the country. The Crossroads Mission has been looking for ways to still help the less fortunate while still keeping the community safe. We just got a, a huge tent ordered, an 18 by 36 foot tent. We're gonna get that put up so we can hopefully house other people in there. We've got an outreach program where we can start going out and talking to people, trying to get them to come in, letting them know about the, the rules and regulations we have to instill now due to the COVID, how to get them in, you know, through the quarantine and the COVID testing and everything so we can transfer them in and try to let them know, you know, we're doing the best we can to still offer the services, but we got to do it in a safe way for everybody here. The Crossroads Mission tells me a lot of homeless people have opted not to come to the shelter out of fear of contracting a virus they have no means of fighting off. The organization is still offering their free food services to the public. All the details can be found on our website at KYMA.com. Reporting in Yuma, Adonis Albright, News 11.